Ooh. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Nastanga and Yabuki, uh, which will take place in Japan on Saturday. This is an interesting fight. It's a really uh, interesting fight. Another really difficult fight to bet. But before we get into that, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, so join the Patreon. Get the absolute best gambling advice in the world. I get the lock of the week. The lock of the week has hit 11 of the last 12 times. We're absolutely destroying it with the lock of the week. Also get asked to bookie anything. You can request a video, and you get the updated props. Uh, like the props on this bet isn't out yet. When they do come, and the props on this one is going to be important. So come over to the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world, bar none. The best, uh, the best boxing advice in the boxing universe. It comes from this site. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All the proceeds are going to go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. This is another really difficult fight to bet, and the props might be the best bet on this. It's a fight I'm going back and forth on. Uh, now, Stanger, he's got pros and cons. Nice shotgun jab, quick, powerful jab. I like this fighter. Throws beautiful, hard, straight shots. Commits to his shots. I like him from long range. The problem is Buki is a long range fighter too. Sits down. He should sits down on his shots really well. Good base. Good legs. Bends his knees. Fires his shots. He throws really nice right hand, and the jab is really nice. Not a ton of head movement or slick. Relies on his high guard to, to pick off shots and block shots, but he keeps the jab pumping. A lot of times that jab is his defense. Stands in and trades. Uh, willing to fight in a phone booth, although I think his best attribute is on the outside where he can use his power, use that piston jab. There's a lot I like about him, uh, but he is willing to trade. We saw that in, in the rematch with Curiel. He gets hit a lot. Good power. Throws in good volume. Can fight on the inside. Can fight on the outside. Has some explosiveness. Uh, when he had, got you hurt, he can let his hands go. He can let go let go of the big power shots. Um, and he can strike quickly. Sharp, accurate power shots from the outside. Again, I think the, the outside is his strength. I think that's where he wants to be. But he loves to fight on the inside, too. We're going to see how that looks. He can do it. And this is a really interesting fight. Almost no lateral movement. Stays in front of you. Behind his high guard. There's no, he doesn't really use the ring. Um, a lot of times he just wants to stay in front of you. I, I wish there was more head movement. I wish he slipped a little bit. He really does. He just pick off shots and fire back. So there's a, there's a bit of you go, I go with him, uh, which I don't love. But he, he can finish. He's got power. He's got the good jab. There's a lot to like about him. He's got that kind of traditional African kind of style. That's a lot of fun to watch. Makes for a highly entertaining fight. I like his jab. I like the right hand. I like his power. He commits to his shots. He can hurt you. He also gets hit a lot. So you take the good with the good. Take the bad with the bad. Yabuki. You look at Yabuki's record and you're like, oh, what? what is going on with this guy? This is a good fighter. He, he, he's lost to really high-level guys early in his career. He's got losses to Kenshiro. He's got a loss uh, to Nakatani. And then he's got a couple of losses. We got three losses, four losses, 16 and four. He's got quality losses. A unanimous decision lost to Nakatani in his fourth fight. I mean, I, I, he, Nakatani would beat him now. Nakatani's a special fighter. He's got a loss to Kenshiro, who's a special fighter. Third round knockout. That's not a great look. He got absolutely decimated in that fight. But since then, he's come back and he's won one, two, three fights in a row, all by stoppage. Uh, tie fighter, Ronald Chacon, 
from Venezuela and Kevin Vivas uh, from Nicaragua. So he's been a barrage of fighters. No one really at that level. I, I like him. I think he's a good fighter. He loses every, like I said, every time he stepped up to the world championship level. He, he's lost. That's something to keep an eye on. He's got releases the jab. He pumps out the jab well. This is going to be interesting if they can be kept at long range. He uses the ring. He keeps moving laterally. He likes to be at long range. Not a high volume guy. But he throws really straight, powerful shots. His power is real. He's got real power. I want to see how it translates at the highest level. And Nastinga is the highest level. He's got, Yabuki's got 15 knockouts in his 16 wins. He's also been knocked out twice in his four losses. You can see what kind of fighter he is. He's, he's an entertaining fighter uh, with a questionable chin with a ton of power. Tall guy, uh, fairly long for the division, 5'6", a little bit short arms. He's, he's got an interesting build to him. He's tall, but he's short arms. He's got a little T-Rex arms, kind of. Tries to maintain the range in space, space. Big hitter who gets hit a lot. His power's at the end of his punches. He wants to keep you at the end of his punches. He wants to keep you at long range. Now, Stang is also good at long range. He's patient and selective with his shots. He gets a little wild, and he, he's not the quickest guy. He's a little bit slow, but he uses his length. He's got two-fisted power, powerful, crisp, clean one-twos. That's where he wants to be, standing at range, jab, right hand, jab, jab, right hand. Uh, he, he gets hit a lot. Like I said, he can be countered. He's got a suspect chin, but he, he times his shots well. He's selective with his shots. He's a good power hitter. Is that going to be enough to beat Nastanga? Let's take a look at the odds. Right now, this is all we got. And I like not staying on the money line. I think minus 290 is pretty good. I would put a one-times bet on that. It's going to make you $35. I'm not in love with this bet, but it's a solid bet at minus 290. He could get knocked out, right? Either one of these guys could get knocked out. I would bet Nastanga knocks him out. The bet that I really like, which we don't have right now, is does this fight go the distance? No, this fight does not go the distance. When they add the props, which is usually Wednesday or Thursday, guys, come back over. Come back over. Join the Patreon if you haven't already. And we're going to look at this fight to go the under. We're going to look at the stoppages. We're going to look at a bunch of bets. Uh, but the prop that does the fight go the distance? No, it's going to be the safest bet in this bet in, in this fight. I like not staying in a win, but he he's been knocked out before. He gets hit a lot, and you Buki can hit. So either guy could get knocked out in this fight, which is why I like that prop. If I had to bet on who's going to get knocked out, I think Nastanga knocks out Yabuki at minus two ninety. Make a one times bet, makes you 35 bucks. It's not great. I do think he wins. I think he's a step ahead. I think he's a class ahead. But it's a really, really interesting fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Join the Patreon link is in the description. Buy dollars a month gets you the best gambling advice. Guys, please smash the like button on your way out. Uh, it is October 7th. This year is flying by. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.